We back. Okay. Uh, what's the delay? Uh, I will say a thing, because if it's a really bad delay, I probably need to restart stream anyway. Um, okay, when do you hear this message right now? Oh my god, oh no. Uh, I should fix that. to finish link looks like five or six seconds uh wait I don't know how you would know if it's five or six seconds oh right because the chat the chat would have a delay on the thing on the stream that's a way to see duh I forgot that that's a thing I don't know. I could, I could, uh, like, restart the stream. I know with ESA it became really important at one point. Um, I don't know if it's really important here or not. Like, ESA got delayed by, like, three minutes. Five or six seconds. Okay, that's fine. That's normal. Yeah, like, Twitch was having a lot of issues once during that one boss fight. And I noticed later, and the delay, the delay on stream was like two minutes or something absurd. So. Anyway, um, what are we doing? That's right, we're looking at, at this. Okay, so a second ago, um, probably while stream wasn't working right, I did deduce what number five is. This, this is number five. Um, <laughs> the, I, I never translated this first one because there was like multiple things that I thought it could be at first, but I realized it's hub. It's hub number five. So this is just like a big five. So now we have zero through five. Ladies and gentlemen, it's hub number five. Hub one, two, three, four. Everybody, come on through the hub door. I don't know if I ever got the thing I got for this code. This was the code from the broken QR code, and um, I feel like I tried to use it in the room and it didn't work. But maybe it did work. I don't know why I still have it saved, I guess. Wow, thank you, Stream Elements. It's true. I'm live. In the same way that many Americans are, are live. Like, kind of dead on the inside, but like we keep on going, you know? You make do with the existence you have.
Okay, this is everything from number the the number of room. <sighs> um, I don't. I just don't understand what I'm supposed to like. My what my takeaway from this should be. And I don't know if I'm supposed to learn something somewhere else about it. Like, at the time... So there's a lot of rooms where... I assume that part of it is I would understand more stuff later. Did I translate the text there? What text to translate? This... This isn't... This isn't text I can translate. This is, um... This, this is numbers. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's fair. The stream, like, it's gonna be small when I'm zoomed out and stuff. It's big to me because I have this, like, as a very big image, but, but I realize on stream it's not very big when I would see more zoomed out. So, like, so down here, this is part of how I figured out zero through three. You know, z like, zero dimension, First dimension, second dimension, third dimension. That makes sense. Um, oh, this is interesting. This is, uh, when I looked at this at a glance, I thought this was like, oh, this is one, but that's not one. That's a different number. It's pointing downward, not upward. Um,. I mean, this is the number cube. We literally have the number cube in our inventory. When we got the number cube, we were told, oh, this helps with writing numbers or something like that. That's like, yep, but, but it doesn't teach me anything. Like, if we go look at this more closely, um, so, I mean, this is the stamper for some of our basic numbers. I want to say that this is 10. I don't know if it definitely is 10. Like, this is just an intuition that this is 10. If we look at the number cube and compare it to the numbers we know, do we notice something? Let's let me pull up my number my numbers. Okay. So one is a line at the top. Like this is one. Uh, so like this symbol right here is one and then two is this symbol rotated Okay, well there goes my theory. My theory was like maybe rolling the cube around is a thing, but no You rotate this to make two But then three is this symbol rotated But then four goes back to this symbol like this is such nonsense. I don't understand. Uh, and then five goes back to this symbol. This symbol as it is, is five. This looks like math problems. Like, could this be an equal sign? Could the thing that looks like an equal sign literally be an equal sign? That, I suppose, is possible. Uh, 
uh, what are our numbers? So this is one, and this, this one is two. One, two, like if this is like addition, like one plus two, plus uh, a number we don't know could equal 10. Could this be six? No, that seven. <laughs> One plus two is three, not four. <laughs> so, I mean, this this could be seven. We don't know what this number is. This isn't one of the ones we have. Um, yeah, let's let's examine this. So we know this is five, and this is two. So could this be? No, this isn't three. So that doesn't make sense. If this is 2, and this is 5, then like, this, this would need to be 3 for this to be 10, so, again, this is 5, oh, wow, yeah, this can't be an equal sign thing, because this definitely doesn't make sense, because this is the same character, and this character is here twice. So, we have five, and, oh, this isn't the same character, it's mirrored, oh my god. One, five, so this would be six, so this would need to be four, but this, uh, one, two, three, Four. Oh, this is four. Hold on. Wait a second. One is going down. That's this. Uh, and then going to the right is four. Zero, one, two, three, four. So it's five and five is ten. Am I doing the thing where, like, uh, say yes, or, like, blink once if it's yes, twice if it's no, and you can interpret those either way? I don't think so, though. I think that makes sense. It makes sense for an equals look sign to be an equals sign still. Like... What, what, which thing are you saying what to? <laughs> If you're saying what to the blink thing that I said, I was wondering if I'm if I'm making this make sense to me when like it doesn't actually make sense. Um like because I'm confirming my own nonsense. But I don't think that I'm confirming my own nonsense. That, like, mostly lines up. So, like, that... That could be true. Um... Like, like this, this would be true if this is, a, like, if we take these numbers, we add them together, and it equals 10.
Zero, one, two. We don't know the number that goes up. So, I mean, the number- wait, the number- Alright, this is the reason it doesn't work right. Because we know that that's two, we know that's five. And that would need to be three. Zero, one, two, three. But we already know three is a different symbol. Oh. This was the issue with this. Hmm. Unless the number that I have set to three is wrong. If the number that I have set to 3 is wrong, that would actually make, like, the numbers make more sense. Although, it would mean I don't know how I solved the thing that I solved, but don't worry about that. No, because the dimensions, right? Isn't this the same thing that has dimensions? Yeah, 0, 1... To wait, what if it's what if it's zero, one, two, and two times two is four? It's a cube. What if this is four? Zero, one, two. So then I would have four and three backwards. Or I just wouldn't have three? I have something note is four. I... The thing I have noted as four I have noted because of the... the steps. I'm gonna put up this as three question mark. So what, what if my note is wrong about the numbers I currently have? So what would this be? Um, down is one. That would make that seven. Unless this isn't a base ten system. What if this is, like, uh, base 8?
Like, what if, what if this is eight? No, because they would be able to display the number eight through their other characters. They wouldn't need to do this. Because you have zero, then you have one, two, three, four on one side. Five, six, seven, eight. Like, this could do one through four. So do five, six, seven, eight. This doesn't make sense if that's... Like this equals... If that symbol means equal sign... Then what... Do we have pointing up? Down, down is one, uh, left is two, oh, three, three, three question mark is what could be up. Wait, hold on, wait a second. This, this is three equals three. If this is equals, and this is saying, like, 3 is equal to 3, this symbol means this symbol. But then this could be saying 3 is- this- these two symbols are in fact the same. Like, these mean the same thing. Is there not a number three? Is is the three and the four the same symbol? Because we assumed that three was three because of this. Like zero, one, two, three. And the reason I was thinking, oh, maybe uh The reason I was confused about maybe my three, like maybe this was four and not three, and that I was wrong about that, was because of this middle one. I was like, oh, this has to be three for this to make sense. But what if this is literally saying these two symbols both mean three? And so this was right as zero, one, two, three. Oh gosh, my brain. <laughs> this. This is how I feel right now.
Like, is the same symbol used for three and for four? Are they interchangeable symbols? That's a bad math system, if that's the case. Um, number system. Okay, I guess I might have another question. <laughs> uh, is this what I'm supposed to be using to learn the numbers? Like, 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 is there something I'm missing from this information? I asked two questions back to back, which was very silly of me, because then there was the response, and I don't know which thing it was response to. Um, is this what I'm supposed to- is- the yes- the yes is that supposed to be too? is this what I'm supposed to use to learn this? This is what you use to learn the numbers. Okay. So I guess, um... trying to decide if this is something, like, I kind of want more confirmation on. Like, I don't really... I don't like the idea of building the number system, but then building it wrong and thinking that's right. Um, so I'm like, hmm... Is, is this correct? I guess that's, that's... I don't know of where to test if this is correct. Like, I'm not sure... What numbers would I be missing? I guess... <sighs> oh. Okay. I do want to know, because if this isn't correct, then I need to reevaluate stuff. So is is this correct right here? You don't have to explain why it's not correct if it's not, but Yes, I'm I'm going to I want to actually ask cuz um if this is not correct then I need to go like under I need to figure out why it's not correct. It is correct. Oh, I hate that. This is concerning. Okay. So that means this number is, in fact, 3. Which means this probably... So that means this is an equal sign. Oh, oh no. Okay. I don't like that there could be two symbols that mean three.
Like, unless this is supposed to be four. Oh, God, Jesus. Was four used here? Oh, no, four was used here. Oh, no. Oh, crap. That's why we have an issue. Right. I mean, that's, like, not in it, so... In how I had the number line currently. Okay. I I guess I need to make... I need to write this down. This is... I think part of this is throwing me off of, because of how I'm referencing my numbers. Let's write it here. So these, these are the numbers we know.
Yes, I say issue because we still have this, which I hate. Like, and it's partially an issue because of my my program, like my my like translation tool. I I don't have a way to support two different characters that could mean the same thing. So I just need to know that. Like I just need to remember these two both mean three. And I hate that there's two things that mean the same number. Um... Well, so I, I, like, I, I made the program so that I could plug in different characters for different things. It literally reads like a, it reads a string, like the buttons are created off of this same, like, array. And the array is the letters out of the alphabet and then zero through nine. So, so then the file names are those files. Like, I can't have two different files, both named three. Um, like, like that's what the image, the images that, that populate the buttons are, are the file names. And so I can't have three and three again. <laughs> I just noticed the, the hmm bouncing in the text box. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't know it would do that. I thought just regular emotes would cause the bouncing. I didn't realize that, uh that non-regular emotes would bounce. <laughs> I have to rewrite the code to support some stuff That's eventually. Like, I currently... Currently, it doesn't... It doesn't support, um the... I don't have a special case to account for a punctuation, which is important in other games. Wasn't important in this game, which is why I didn't care that much to figure out a way to implement it. Um, I can't name file names, you know, like period. You can't have period.png. Um, you can if it is written out the word period, which is what I did. I, I currently have like the word period.png um, written out, and just a placeholder image saved. Um, so eventually I'm going to have to, have to have a special case to account for those. And I suppose, I suppose the version of the program that is for this game specifically could could have like just a special case added when I do that 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 um, adds an additional three. As a matter of fact, I guess that's that's as good a time as ever to learn how to do the special case. Hmm. I might wrap this stream up here and think on this. Um. I'm getting hungry. I was going to take a break. I was like, maybe I should take a break and go uh, put some food in the oven. But I think I might just want to stop streaming for now and think on this number system. Um, I got to think about how to find six, eight, and nine. They might be in this. Uh... Let's, let's just quick, at a glance, let's see if we can go through these. Uh, so going to the right is four, and then a thing at the bottom right, we don't have. We don't know, we don't know what the bottom right means. So that is probably six, eight, or nine.
Oh. Ha. I... Because it's written... Wait. The little equal sign... Oh, the equal sign is here. Oh, and this is the equal sign rotated. Oh, no. What does that mean? Oh, that's... Oh, this is not good. Oh, gosh. This is... This is complicated. Either... Either we're supposed to read this sideways. And this is an equal sign. Which would mean that this one's also an equal sign. Or we are supposed to read it... Just top to bottom, like, regular ways. In which case, this is an equal sign. Which would probably mean that this side equals this side? Like, is this a math problem? Well, what is this? Is this a number? Like, is this a number or is this a... Oh, gosh. Zero. Is this saying that, like, they they have zero dimension in them? Like, that's like the zero to, like, zero. And then three. Is this like they brought the third dimension? Is the equal sign sideways going to be a number, or is it a different operation? Like, what's this? Is this an operation, or is this a number? Oh, I don't like that. Do we have all four directions of the line accounted for? Uh, down left, up, right. Yes, we have all four directions of the line, which three has to be in here twice, so that's stupid. So then this can't be over here. Why is three twice? I don't understand why they would make three twice. Is this just to obscure this? Like, is it, haha, ha, you can't, you can't solve numbers super easily because we've put three in here two times. Like, what is the reasoning for three being here twice? Also, every once in a blue moon, the game has made, like, a sound that I don't... I don't know... what the purpose of the sound is. Like, there's the... 
It's making the pulsating sound because we're in the menu. Oh. Use mouse wheel. Anyway, um, I feel like there's like a, a chirp sound or a blip sound it makes up periodically. At first I thought that was me hovering over something, but I don't think it does anything when I hover over anything. There's no sound effects for that. There, did it again! No, it was like a, like a different sound. You can just click on stuff when you're using the mouse? Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna think more I'm gonna think more on the numbers. Um I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop this stream. I'll either play more of this later after my brain is cooled down, or maybe some power wash. Maybe art stuff, but probably not I don't know if I'm in art mode. Ugh. I want to do art stuff because I want to finish my doodle boss thing, but like, I also just am not really in the mood to do art stuff. Anyway, um, I think we're gonna go over Raid Alley, who is doing Stardew, uh, playing Fez this month because of, of Alice and 8-Bit part of Indie Game Book Club. Put my brain in the freezer for a few hours. If I could take my brain out, I would. Like, if you could just take it out and put it back in later, I feel like a lot of people would do that. Like, ah, you're having, you're having a really bad, like, anxiety attack or something? Just take the brain out, go put it in the fridge, be brainless for a few hours. I think a lot less people do drugs. Like, if you could just pop your brain out, why would you need to, like... Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of well, times I you do... I don't want to think about things. Well, yeah. you don't have to do drugs. You can just... Yeah, you don't have to get, like, stoned out of your mind or get super drunk. You just take your brain out. You... You sit a little bit. If you could actually do that, it cause more anxiety. Why would it be more anxiety? This would be the stipulation of, like, it's safe. Like, you could be thoughtless. Like, if you could, like, exist without your brain thoughtlessly for a bit. Like, I would assume... I would assume that's a thing. Oh, the raid is starting. So. Okay. Anyway, let's go watch some Stardew. Go make some food. Pro probably see some people later. Adios.